Hi guys, my name is Angelo Rajadurai. I'm part of Oracle in the systems division. I'm an engineer who works in the ISV engineering organization. I've been with Oracle and Sun for the last 22 years, and I've seen this chip thing developing. What we're here to talk about today is not a tiny little change in the chip design. We're doing something completely different. We're doing something revolutionary. We're doing something very, very different that the industry is not even beginning to think about. We are not doing some evolutionary thing. It's a revolutionary stuff that we're doing. We're calling it software in silicon. What it is, is really pushing some software stuff into silicon. And because of that, what you're going to do is gain some huge performance gains, amazing performance gains. We are also going to do some great security gains. We are making this whole thing more secure because we're pushing software in silicon. And again, if you look at it, people are talking about big data. People are talking about data growing. What we're doing by moving software into silicon is we're going to talk about how we're going to use this to increase the amount of capacity the systems can do today. You know what we're going to do? This is not stuff that is just slideware. We have a chip looking just like that, which does all of this today. And we're going to demo it to you, to prove it to you that it's possible. And in fact, if you want to try it, we're going to give you a way to try it today. You can come in and try it for yourself. What you're going to do in this set of videos is going to talk about all of these features and end it up with a beautiful demo that shows you what exactly this thing can do. Hey guys, we're back. We're going to talk about performance now, right? We're going to talk about how moving software into silicon is going to give you performance. P E R F-O-R-M-A-N-C-E. I hope I spelled that one right. right? We're going to talk about performance. What we have done is that we've taken a chip, right? And we have put 32 cores in this chip, right? This is the M7 chip that we've introduced. And this chip is not slide bad. I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of this. This is stuff that's available. And not just available for some internal testing in some dark room someplace, right? We've put this chip into the cloud, and we want you to check uh, test on it. We want you to be able to basically make this available. OK, enough of my, my, my spiel here. Basically, the M7 chip can have 32 general purpose software cores, right? So this stuff can do your general purpose core stuff, 32 of them, OK? Then we found a little bit of space outside, right? Little bit of space here, little bit of space here, and little bit of space here, and said, hey, can I take some silicon and use it to do some, soft, some performance features, right? Great. They said, yeah, let's look at it. What is the one thing that we want to make performance, right? The database, right? That's what everybody in the world wants. Everybody runs the database, right? Everybody runs not just the database, the Oracle database. So we looked at what Oracle is doing for performance in the database, and we wanted to see if we can take some part of that and put it into the chip, right? That's the whole idea here. So let me give you a little primer on what we're calling as Oracle 12C in memory. The idea is pretty simple. Traditionally, people do OLTP work, and the, because the databases were fully tuned to do OLTP work, doing analysis was a very difficult process, right? Why is that? Basically, for OLTP work, what you want to do is you want to store the database in what we're calling as the row-based format, which means we're storing data in rows in both the disk and in memory. What does that mean? If you have, let's say, a table with employee ID, employee name, salary, of course, that doesn't change, so it's a field that you can leave read only. And then you have like city, and then you have pin code, and you have, you know, whatever, right? And you have this written, and this makes absolute sense if you're writing one row at a time, right? So that's the row-based column, and it's good for OLTP, and we've been having it for many years, and we've been doing great with it, right? But the problem comes when somebody wants to ask a question saying, hey, which of my employees live in Timbuktu? Now, what I have to do now is basically look at the, the city column and say, is this Timbuktu? Uh, of course not. So then you have to go through and look at the next city field. Oh, is this Timbuktu? Of course not. And basically, you're scanning through the, the whole table. And it's called, it's even got a name, right? It's called full table scan. And the way we deal with it today is to create stuff like indexes and so on, right? To allow you to not having to do full table scan. But there's many, many problems with that, right? So what we've done is that people started saying, you know what, I want to store data in column format. So what does that mean? I put all of my employee numbers together, all of my employee names together, all of the cities together. And that read-only column we talked about, salary, 
all of that together, right? So you basically kind of keep putting all of those things one after the other, right? And so when you want to search all my employees that live in Timbuktu, what I have to do is just go to this column, start from the beginning, search for Timbuktu. I don't care about these columns. I'm not doing full table scans. I'm just scanning through a single column, right? So this one is what they call as a column store. You know what our competition did? They looked at this and go, great, let's do column store. But you know what? They forgot about the most important thing, which is OLTP. If you do column store, doing OLTP is going to be very hard. So now my competition is making you decide, hey, should I do row format or column format? Oracle is much smarter than that. What we said was, let's do row format and column format, right? Huge stuff. This allows you to do both OLTP and analysis on the same database. Of course, it's going to take more memory. Hey, but we own the hardware. We know how to actually make large systems with large memory. So it doesn't matter if you need a little extra memory. We'll give that to you, and we'll make you put both of these in memory and make it run much faster. OK, so now let's look at it. What do we want to do in analysis is we want to go through a set of memory locations and search for a given range or things like that, right? So this looks like a, something that the chip can do without software micromanaging it and asking the question every time. We don't want anything on top. We want the chip to do it on its own. Can we do it? Of course we can. So what we did was we put something called DAX, DAX, Database Accelerator, onto the chip. So DAX, right? DAX, basically, all around the chip, right? We put DAX on the chip. What this does is allows you to go and search through columns without having to have software intervention. Think about it. We have 32 cores doing general purpose work. And we have these eight DAX units, and each of them can do four things in parallel, which means 32 general purpose stuff, 32 DAX related stuff, 64 things in parallel in a single chip, right? This stuff is amazing. Not only that, basically we can do some interesting things with these columns. We're gonna talk about that in the next section about capacity. What we're gonna do is you're gonna compress these columns, right? And in the chip itself, you're gonna put in some logic which uncompresses this without having to write it back, which means we can make performance go even higher because we're now working on compressed data. We're gonna have even higher capacity because we're working on compressed data, right? So this, in a nutshell, is what DAX is. This, in a nutshell, is how Oracle took a little bit of silicon, right? Little bit of silicon and got some huge performance gains because we knew and we understood what software really needs to run on this chip. So because we've thought it through, because we understand the entire stack, we can actually put stuff into the chip, allowing you to fully utilize the chip in the best way we can, both for general purpose stuff and specific stuff for database to get you some huge amount of performance. You know what? Hang on, we're gonna talk next about capacity. We're gonna talk about how to improve capacity using DAX, how to improve capacity using software in silicon. That's coming up next. Guys, you saw how we are using the software in silicon in the M7 chip to get huge performance gains for database. You can try it today. We have it available on the cloud. All you have to do is go to the swissdev.oracle.com website and register to have access to the M7 chip and test out these features today.